Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Uh, the drill press, uh, I had a little problem that I wanted to resolve in some way and I think I've come across a solution that's going to work pretty darn well. So, the uh, as is typical for drill presses, they've got some kind of taper in it. Mine's got an MT3 taper like that. And on that end, that's JT3, which I'll get to in a minute. But, yeah. Um, driving stuff in and out of the tapers got to be hard on everything because you got to basically hammer things in to get them to stay. There's just no drawbar. Uh, you know, the, the ER32 collet that I've got in here now, that does take a drawbar because it's got some um, uh, half by 13 threads inside it, but uh, I don't have a drawbar in here. So I was going to work out a way to put one in, um, but until I can, whoops, until I can get myself a drill bit long enough to be able to drill all the way through the spline section and all the way out the other end of this part here, uh, <laughs> which I have yet to fail, I've completely failed at being able to accomplish. Yeah, the drill bits I wanted, they were kind of expensive and I had to buy them from Germany and they wouldn't ship them to the US. They, apparently they think that some or another you'll get a virus. I have no idea what that's about. What virus are they talking about? I, I don't know anything about this. Anyway, yeah, the Germans you know, them and their laws, they just, uh, they, they think their laws are sacred or something. I'm just like going, dude, it's going to be shipped in fucking machine oil. There's no virus going to be growing on the damn thing. I'm really not that worried. Anyway, they would not ship me the drill bits I wanted. So, anyway, have not been able to find in the U.S. Um, the right length of drill bits that are going to be rigid uh, and cut the size of holes that I want. So, anyway, yeah, uh, plan B. And that is... Drive the ER32, call it in there, which I froze. Um, got it down to about, um, I don't know, minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the uh, the actual uh, taper inside the drill was at shop temperature, which is 70 degrees. Drove the two in there with a piece of aluminum underneath here and then hit it with a hammer several times, really drove it in tight. And now it's all back up to shop temperature again. And it's, you know, I'm sure it's really bound in there. I'd have to force it out with a wedge. Okay, so that's pretty much a permanent fixture without some effort. But I still want to be able to use drill chucks. So my solution is, and I just figured this one out because it was, well, it was an accident. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Um, I, I uh, figured the only thing I had to work with was a taper like that. So that's an MT3 taper, uh, which came off of uh, my new drill chuck. And the other end on there is JT3. Um, so anyway, yeah, the answer actually became quite simple. And what it was is I was looking for a, uh, a chuck. So let me show you this here. Let me close these two up. All right, so this chuck, when it closes up, put a little bit of light on it. There we go. It doesn't close up because it's a three-quarter inch chuck. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but it doesn't close up. There's a pretty good size gap in the middle. So I found this one, which is a keyless chuck, and it closes right up. So it'll take, you know, all the way down to a, you know, a little one millimeter uh, drill in there. No problem. All right. So anyway, while I was looking around for a more precision uh, drill chuck uh, that I could put smaller drills in, I also discovered that I could get this exact same Char's chuck with either MT3 on it, um, MT2, or a straight shaft, either in half inch or three quarters. So I went with three quarter, and all of a sudden I had the answer to my problem. All I needed to do was to find that, so uh, JT3 uh, with straight shaft, and sure enough, Char's makes one. Uh, they make exactly that piece right there. So. This big chuck, which has got a bigger uh, taper inside here, it's JT3 rather than JT33 like the keyless chuck is, um, I have found a shaft for it that is three quarter inch straight. So anyway, yeah, I can leave the uh, ER32 collet in the drill press all the time, and all I have to do when I want to drill is to swap in the drill chuck. All right, so there is one little tiny problem, and I'll fix some of this after a while. Uh, first of all, I have too much length here. <laughs> I just don't need that much length. So let me put this bad boy up inside the ER32 collet. And right now I've got a, third, uh, a three quarter inch collet in there. Um, and you can see I got about an inch here of play. 
uh, or, you know, a room that I can't push up inside the collet. So I'm going to have to cut off the top of this shaft so I can suck that up as much as possible. Because, you know, this is a pretty long assembly. And, you know, I'm, I'm used to drilling from up here. And now I'm drilling from down here. So it's pretty long. So I want to pull that inch out of there as much as possible. And the, uh, the new shaft for the uh, larger drill bit or drill chuck, which is three quarter inch, will have that exact same problem. It'll be too long. So I'll need to, I'll need to cut that off, make it a good bit shorter so that um, it sucks up inside the ER32 collet as much as possible. But it's a solution. I never have to take the ER32 collet out. I don't need a draw bar. And I can, you know, put drill bits in. I can put in collets in, you know, which is what I do more often than not. Uh, and I have a pretty decent um, level of, of uh, precision with the ER32 collet. And sticking a, a drill chuck in there is super easy and comes out super easy. So I'm pretty happy with that solution. All right, so that's probably it for this. But there is some other news. Yippee! I have a new camera coming. So this camera, which I've had forever, it's a Panasonic. Um, I bought it uh, a long time ago, um, 2000, I don't know, 2000 something, <clears throat> uh, 12, 2012, something like that, you know, forever ago, you know, in electronics days, it's like, you know, it's a dinosaur and I have a brand new camera coming, a new Panasonic. So anyway, yeah, this one is going to get retired. It won't see any more video anymore. It's 1080p. It does really shitty when you zoom in. Uh, you know, picture quality just goes to crap. It gets super grainy. Uh, it has very, very poor low light uh, resolution. And the new camera has got all that stuff in spades. So uh, a lot better camera, and it does 4K. So you might see videos coming out from me in 4K from now on. We'll see. Anyway, stay healthy. Don't get the SARS virus. You know, be all that stuff that you need to be. Uh, you know, together but separate and jet like that. <laughs> getting kind of tired of those stupid logos. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, stay healthy and don't get sick.